Good morning, family. I got a good night's sleep last night, praise the Lord. Um, some of you have been asking um, about Jasmine. I posted a video yesterday. I had to remove it. Um, I'm going to try and repost that video later. I'm going to get a second opinion in a month. Um, just the, the doctor's bedside manner wasn't very good. Um, I needed her to call me last night, and she didn't even call me. Um, they said her... Uh, can't remember what level there's one two <coughs> there's excuse me there's two levels they look at um one was really high and i was like but that one's high and she said well we really don't focus on that when we focus on this one and her liver value is like uh supposed to be 1.4 is normal and hers are like 1.7 hers have been that way for a while but there's something uh, uh, that they also look at but don't really focus on that's like really high so she's gonna stay on the kd and um they said she has a urinary infection so I gave her antibiotics and, um, she didn't wet the bed this morning, praise the Lord. And, um, yeah, I said to her, I said, how long can she live with this? She goes, oh, years, you know, but then she said she's at stage two kidney disease. And I looked online and when it says stage two, it says they live 100 to 400 days. And that's like several places I looked at, um, online. So, um, and then she didn't even message me back because she's 46 pounds and with KD, you're supposed to get a certain amount of food at 40 pounds and a certain amount at 50. So, um, I'm going to get, I'm going to recheck her blood in a month and, um, I'm going to just go to my regular doctor. So, um, but I said to her, I said, well, good, because if it's a couple of years, then she'll be raptured with me because I believe Jesus is about to return. Nothing. <coughs> oh, that's my mother. Nothing. My sister. Nothing. I said, I mentioned my sister. Well, you know, how Jasmine was doing. And I said, because, you know, Jesus is about to return. So hand and paw. That's what I tell Jasmine, hand and paw. Nothing, you know. And um, it's sad. It's sad that so much of the world doesn't see what we see, you know. That's why it's so important that every day that we're here, that we continue to plant seeds. And we pray that they grow, you know. And um, anybody left behind, they'll remember what we said. And, um, you might hear my mother in the background. Oh, and she wanted to uh, say something to you guys. Oh, thank you, uh, family, for all your prayers. Yeah, thank you for all your prayers. Um, yeah, they they asked how you're doing. They always ask how you're doing. That's nice. Um, so um, yeah, she wants to thank you for all your prayers. Hang in there, family, because we're all meeting at the brownie table. And you know this isn't doom and gloom. You know because. Uh, um, to make one thing clear, anybody that thinks that this is doom and gloom talking, let me let me really try to make something clear to you. We're not scared. You think it's doom and gloom. We don't. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm done with this world. This world is ghetto, and it's it's not the same world we all grew up in. And it's not even the same world my daughter grew up in. You know, and it's just the, the evil and just the, the chemtrails and the... And the, um, I'm sure my video is going to be labeled now because I said that, um, and, the, um, the, uh, uh, the food being so expensive and we got to wonder if it's even healthy anymore and, you know, and the evil people and the judgmental people, I'm, I'm just, you know, but see, the good news is, is we're not going to be here much longer. So the return of Jesus isn't doom and gloom, you know, reality the world's a dark place, and reality is it's going to get darker because that's what the Bible says. We will not be here for the tribulation. I posted a video that is a must-see video for anybody that doesn't think there's a pre trib rapture. Anybody that even believes there's a pre trib rapture, which there is. <coughs> Very good video because um, we're the restrainer. Satan can't be unleashed full force right now because we're still here. Which means for him to come to power in the world, we have to be gone. <coughs> Some people think, oh, we're going to, you know, the Bible, we're going to have to endure tribulation. We're going to have to endure tribulation. I'm going to read, and I'm sorry, it takes me a second because I'm on my phone. I'm sorry, one second. Okay, I'm going to read a Bible passage. 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 18. Well, let me go back. Hold on. Let me see. Um, Jesus. 
that's Chad. That's uh, my neighbor's dog. Okay. I'm going to start with uh, 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. <coughs> Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Right there. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. So, is it comforting to say we are going to have to endure tribulation hell? Does God say you will have to endure tribulation hell? How comforting is it to say, well, buckle up, buttercup, you're going to have to go through the tribulation. That's not comforting. you got to know where to look in the Bible. Revelation 3, verse 10. Let's go to that one. <clears throat> Revelation 3, verse 10. Let me pull up King James. I like reading King James. Um, because thou, <coughs> this is the clearest indicator there's a rapture. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So, sorry, that was my, uh, our uh, ice maker, not refrigerator. So imagine a globe, everybody in the world on the globe. There's an hour of temptation coming to try everybody on that globe, but some will be kept from it. So what that's saying is some will have to endure it. Some will have to be kept from it. That's the rapture. <coughs> <coughs> when you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit dwells in you. He is our best friend, our King, our Savior, our everything. He's all we need. Put your faith and trust in Jesus. He will wash your sins clean. He will indwell in you. He will guide you. He will strengthen you in these dark days. Whatever you've done in your past, you will be forgiven. And if you've stumbled, stand back up. God sees everybody's heart. God sees who truly want to live for Christ. He will wash your sins clean. <clears throat> this is from RT. Now, I could be 100% wrong on this. This is just my opinion. <clears throat> First of all, too many people are putting their faith and trust in Donald Trump. Don't put your faith and trust in Donald Trump. He is merely a man. Put your faith and trust in Jesus. Don't put your faith and trust in any of these politicians. Because you know what? When the bombs drop, they're going to save themselves and their own families. They're not going to save you. Jesus will save you. Normal isn't coming back. Jesus says. U.S. is not a democracy, says Putin. <clears throat> the Russian leader has called the political situation in America a catastrophe. This country is being ripped apart internally and it's being done purposely. The U.S. has become a global laughingstock by criticizing democratic processes in other nations while suppressing a presidential candidate in his own election, Vladimir Putin has claimed. Speaking to journalists in Moscow... <coughs> Early, sorry, that was my mom's phone. Early on Monday morning, shortly after preliminary results indicated he would be reelected with 87% of the vote in the Russian presidential election, Putin stated that, quote, the whole world is laughing at what is happening in the U.S., end quote, and they are. We are a laughing stock. Now, I don't trust any of these politicians, but what I will say is this country is less likely to be attacked with Trump in the office. Why? Because they're afraid of Trump. They ain't afraid of Biden. So in their eyes, in their eyes, I I said it before, I'll say it again. Trump, I don't think is going to win. I think that Biden's going to break the election again. But I mean, I could be wrong. But <clears throat> if they're going to do anything, in their eyes, they have to do it before the elections. Because they could be thinking, what if Trump wins? Quote, we are behaving with more restraint than their opponents in other countries. But this is just a catastrophe, not a democracy. That's what it is, the Russian leader added. Putin claimed that the current U.S. administration is using all of its resources to attack a candidate for this year's <clears throat> excuse me, presidential election, seemingly referring to Donald Trump. The former U.S. leader is facing a litany of lawsuits, despite 
being the presumptive Republican nominee for the vote in November. What I will say is um, that takes a lot of... I'm sorry if you heard that in the background. That was my mother. I deeply apologize. Sorry, I had to shut the phone off for a second. If you heard that in the background, that was my mother. I apologize. Um, Where did I leave off? I think it's obvious to everyone that the American political system cannot claim to be democratic in any sense of the world. It's true. He said in an interview with journalist Dmitry Kasselyov, I don't know, <coughs> Putin, I was called, Putin, refused to comment further on the current presidential campaign in the U.S., but described the atmosphere as becoming increasingly uncivilized. Um, in a pre-election interview, I forgot this paragraph, I'm sorry, um, earlier this week, Putin insisted that Russia does not meddle in foreign elections and will work with any elected U.S. president. <clears throat> Don't put your faith in Donald Trump. Don't put your, definitely don't put your faith in Biden. Biden is, is ruining this country purposely. Because in order for them to have the great reset, our country has to fall. And it is. And it will. <clears throat> but you know what? As bad as things are around the world, it's going to get a lot worse when the rapture happens. So stay close to the Lord. Put on the former of God. Keep looking up. Keep listening because I know we're all praying that we go home this year. I pray we go home this year. I deeply pray we go home this year. I'm just, I know we're all exhausted. <clears throat> we are all mentally and physically drained. Jesus is getting me through. It's all I think about is going home. This is not doom and gloom because the return of Jesus is not doom and gloom. If you think this is doom and gloom, all I can tell you, read your Bible. We know where this is going. We're going to be going home soon. You may think, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying you guys, just some people that listen say it's doom and gloom. Um, to them, y'all may think it's doom and gloom. I don't. Because I know my Savior's coming to get me. I don't, I don't want to be here anymore. I'm just, I'm just, you know. I was taking Jasmine for a walk earlier, and there's those things in the sky, you know. And it's just like, I'm just, I'm, so, I'm done. You know, I, I, nothing in this world. And that's what this lady says in the, in the video. It's like, um, I'll have to uh, find the link and repost it. It's a video I saw. And um, she's talking about, um, there's just nothing in this world that interests her anymore. You know, it's ghetto and, um, She's like, you gotta worry about the food. You gotta worry about wars. You gotta worry, you gotta worry about the, the sky. And just, she says, I'm just, I'm checked out. I just, it's ghetto. I don't want to be here anymore. So all we think about day and night is Jesus returning. I don't know. We're all praying it's this year. I'm not going to say for sure it's this year. There's a good chance it could be. But you know what happens if the rapture doesn't happen this year? There's going to be a lot of people that are going to be totally bummed out if we say yes this year. You know, some, some people saying, well, you know, it just, just add something to say. It's got to be this year. Well, it could. But God's in control. I mean, <clears throat> I'm just, I'm not going to say that. Some channels do, but I'm not going to do that. But it could be. We know it's soon. We are in the season. So hang in there. I know life's tough, but we got so much to look forward to. Put on the former of God because I have a feeling between now and the elections, things are going to gradually get worse. Again, not doom and gloom because we're not going to be here much longer. God bless you guys. I look forward to meeting you very soon. I will talk to you soon. Have a wonderful day.